Hey guys, I originally wanted to do a whole video on talking about Gamescom 2010, but um, some things didn't work out because I ended up talking too much about a certain topic and the video went over 15 minutes and as I'm not a partner yet, I can't have a video over 15 minutes. So I thought I'd just do a video on certain topics and then like more important topics then lump the rest into another video. So yeah, so um, the one topic I really want to talk about, which a lot of people seem to be getting some misconceptions about. Um, if you haven't heard already, or if you even care about this, Mass Effect 2 was announced that it will be ported to the PlayStation 3 January 2011. Now, a few comments here and there on what some of the fanboys have been saying. PS3 fanboys have said for the longest time, oh, you don't need an Xbox to play Mass Effect 2, which is true, you can play it on your PC. And then a lot of people are saying, oh, we got Mass Effect 2, we, you lose your exclusive, which really goes against what they said because Mass Effect 2 is not exclusive. Like, where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. This game is not exclusive. Do you see something up here that says only on Xbox? No. No, I don't see that. So, what is it if it's available on more than one platform? It is called a multi-platform game. For example, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I know, terrible example. That is not an exclusive to the Wii. It is on Nintendo Wii and on the Nintendo DS. And I know a lot of people like to say, Oh, Nintendo exclusive, Microsoft exclusive, Sony exclusive. If it's available on more than one platform, if I can play it on another system where I don't need to get a 360, PS3, or Wii, it is a multi-platform game. Just because the PC isn't a gaming console, it's still a platform for video games, all right? Hope that's held it for all you fanboys. So, Mass Effect 2 on PS3. Does that really bother me? Yes and no. Well, here's the thing. I bought Mass Effect 1 and 2 on 360, and I loved them. They, I think they're some of the best games this generation. Um... And when it's come to PS3, I think it's good for PS3 gamers who have never played Mass Effect, like the actual people who never play Mass Effect, they want to play it, but they either never bought a 360, I'm not, I'm not talking about fanboys, I'm talking about gamers, never bought a 360 or do not have a powerful PC. So the fact that PS3 is getting Mass Effect along with some notable upgrades, I heard they're going to get more features and they're going to get, um, I think, I don't know, I heard rumors, better frame rates and... Uh, yeah, just more features, more additions to compensate for the year-long wait. That's what Bioware, people say that Bioware is going to do. I think that's all handy-dandy because that's what they do with Bioshock. Um, I think, yeah, they did that for the Ninja Gaiden series, Ninja Gaiden Sigma and Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And they were really notable upgrades. Bioshock, you've only gotten a survivor mode. You've gotten a new challenge mode, which are actually, never mind, they are actually good upgrades and better textures and no freezing and glitches as they were on the 360 version of Bioshock 1. So... Mass Effect on PS3, I know they're going to take their time to add more features, fix some problems that were available in 360 version, and give PS3 gamers more features. But here's the problem with that. Mass Effect, if anyone who's played Mass Effect 1 and 2, you will know what I'm talking about. Mass Effect is one of those games, this generation, that is very, very heavy on story. Like, literally... When they say you need to play 1 to know 2, you do need to play 1 to know 2. Because the unique thing about Mass Effect that a lot of games don't really do nowadays is whatever you did in Mass Effect 1 on the Xbox 360 or the PC, it affects what happens in Mass Effect 2. Like, if you played it when it came out, you did certain things, you see certain things that happen, they talk about what you did in Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2. Like, certain things that you did. Like, in the game, not like, oh, Shepard did this, what you did. Like, certain... Because there are certain morality choices in Mass Effect. So talking about what you did um, affects what happened to Mass Effect 2 and inevitably Mass Effect 3. Here's the problem with the PS3. PS3 never got Mass Effect 1. So right there, PS3 gamers are losing that experience. Like Because if you play Mass Effect 1 and on to 2, it's, it's really fun. Like You see all this stuff like, holy shit, they actually did that. It's so cool. Because you see notable things, you know, little things like, oh, this is for Mass Effect 1, you did that. Um, this is, like, in, let's say you kill someone in Mass Effect 1, they'll mention that in Mass Effect 2, let's say you saved him, they'll mention that in Mass Effect, it's more in-depth, you'll know what I'm talking about. So the PS3 gamers, they lose that sense of, oh, I've played this game, they, whatever I did in this game affects this game, you know, input, save, character files from your previous game. I don't know what they're going to do about that, because that was a great feature of Mass Effect 2 that I enjoyed, I know I enjoyed it, like, seeing what I did in Mass Effect 1 affected what happened in Mass Effect 2. What are they going to do for the PS3? I mean, I know it's not a big deal, but Mass Effect is very heavy on story. So PS3 gamers who have never touched a 360 or have a gaming PC, they're going to be like, huh? You know, you're, you're going to have the only retards like me who are going to rebuy Mass Effect 2 on 
PS3 because I love Mass Effect. It's one of my favorite series. Mass Effect 1, I've played Mass Effect 2, I've loved it. I've read the novels. I'm going to rebuy it on PS3 because I love Mass Effect. But, yeah, PS3 gamers, they've never seen Mass Effect 1. So what are they going to do? Are they going to put the game on the PlayStation Network like to compensate for the weight? You know, because PS3 gamers aren't going to know what the hell happened in it, you know? It's not like Ultimate Ninja Storm. I love how some Naruto fanboys say it shouldn't be on 360 because the PS3 owners, they don't know because the 360 owners, sorry, I'm out of it today, because the 360 owners, they've never played Storm, so they wouldn't know. Okay, first off, Naruto Storm 1 encompassed Naruto Part 1, Storm 2 encompasses Shippuden, they're different storylines, okay, 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 and most people played are going to be Naruto fans, so don't use that bullshit excuse, um, freaking PS3 fanboys, but... Oh, not even PS3 fanboys. No, just Naruto fanboys. Um, yeah, so, back to Mass Effect. They lose that sense of, you know, like, I've played this, I can play the second one. That It kind of sucks. They're not going to know what the heck's going on unless they play Mass Effect 1. Or, you know, they're not going to know what happened in it. So, hopefully, I think Bioware should port Mass Effect 1 onto the PS3, onto the PlayStation Store, at least, for $20 so gamers on the PS3 will know what happened. Because if they didn't, and if some of them are as stubborn and they won't even buy 360 or played on a powerful PC, then they're going to lose that experience. So, I think they should do something like porting Mass Effect 1 onto the PlayStation Store. People can download that. They can play that. Like, do it this fall. And then the PS3 gamers can get ready for Mass Effect 2. That's what I think they should do. I mean, that's just me. But if they don't do that, then some people are going to lose the story feeling in Mass Effect. Which, kind of got to say, I don't know. Maybe they might do a whole video before Mass Effect 2 actually starts. Like, on the disc this is what happened so hey there you go but anyway that's all i want to say on mass effect 2 on ps3 i think it's a good idea that they're porting onto ps3 the problem i have i don't care about what people say oh it's not going to sell because 360 and pc always they already got the hype for it i couldn't care less about that i mean i care more about people who are going to be affected by the story if they don't know what the fuck's going on because mass effect is a great game if you know the story so, um, yeah, so, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Post video responses. I want to see what you guys think about this, even if you don't care. So, catch you guys later.